What's up, squad? Back with another video. I see in the title what's going down. Make sure I have to like with that subscribe button. Y'all see it. Y'all see it and definitely wanted to check this video out. It's been a minute since reacting to Gutfield, but um, definitely have to check it out. Let's get a video. Their brains are small, <laughs> but who's the dumbest one of all? True, none of them are in Mensa, but who's the most densa? <laughs> Perhaps it's Sonny who mastered the art of making idiots look smart. Now the view could ask a mirror who's the dumbest one of all, but there's no way that glass doesn't shatter. So instead, let's check out this clip from Monday's episode of The View when the ladies put their science caps on and discuss the solar eclipse. I know, right? I mean, I have to say, um, Karen Dupiche, our, our wonderful, oh one my of our wonderful makeup artist, when the earthquake was happening, she put her coat on and she was like, Jesus is coming. I'm so out. I'm, I'm out. I'm leaving. We've got a solar eclipse. Uh, we've she got the earthquake. The she ran down the hallway. <laughs> the rapture then, is here. The rapture's here. And then also, I learned that the cicadas are coming. Cicadas. Cicadas. Oh, for the, the first time <laughs> in cicada. like no, no, 100 no, years. No. For the first time in, in many, many years. No. And Seven, so, every 17 years this happens. Well, that's not what I read, but maybe, <laughs> but, you know, maybe well, you know better. All those things together would maybe lead one to believe that, you know, either climate change exists that's more or something point. is really or something going going returning. I feel like they just be hearing themselves talk and just want to talk at this point. I mean, honestly. At the mercy of climate change. It's underground. No, it can't. It, it, it happens. And, and the, the eclipse, they've known about the eclipse coming because the eclipses happen and they actually can say when these things are going to happen. Amazing. Wow. That's not what I read. <laughs> the true sign of the apocalypse is someone that dumb has a law degree. Worse, if your name has the word sun in it, there's no excuse for not knowing how an eclipse works. <laughs> but it's no surprise that Joy is the one who understands science. She's been on the science diet for years. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, <clears throat> they're turning on me. So that makes Sonny Hostin, who thinks climate change caused the solar eclipse, the dumbest of them all. Because everyone knows the moon caused the eclipse, which is controlled by the view's gravitational pull. <laughs> All right, uh, Kat, did you ever see such a group? It's amazing how Joy and, and Whoopi became the smart ones. For me, the most shocking thing about the conversation was how truly boring it was. <laughs> yeah. like, I mean, well, the cicadas, um, they're cicadas. Okay, but it was like every 100 years. No, it's every 17 years. <laughs> Do you know how many Emmys this show has? <laughs> 31. 31 Emmys? This show has 31. I mean, I'd hate to see the conversations that don't make headlines. <laughs> <laughs> what? And we don't have a single Not a Emmy. single we don't one. Have a, what does that tell you about the Emmys, Kat? Yes, thank you, Mr. Boo. <laughs> Give that man a free something, a cup of water. <laughs> Charlie, uh, is, are these women bad for women? They're bad for more than just women. <laughs> the whole discussion about climate change drives me nuts because it does not exist. But the only reason I have come to love it is because of the characters that have gotten themselves involved. I mean, just a couple of weeks ago when I was on the show, we were talking about the snowboarder mm -hmm. who testified before Congress. Remember, he was like the guy who was like, oh, bro, like, I think that there's climate change. And uh, he had no idea what he was talking about. That was great. And then uh, Greta Thunberg, who I have grown to be very fond of because she continually makes a mockery of herself. She was arrested not once but twice yeah. this past weekend. And now Sonny Hostin throwing her hat in the ring, claiming that these naturally recurring events, such as earthquakes, which, by the way, I did my research, the first one was in 1831 B.C., mm. saying that they stem from climate change or something. Yeah. And I know, I know she was just dying when she said something. She wanted to say racism. Mm. <laughs> dying to say that. <laughs> yeah, it was either going to be racism or Trump, but then she realized, what if Trump wasn't born then? Yeah. Also, what a, what a way to cover your bases. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> Or something. <laughs> yeah. Jamie, you do that a lot with punchlines. Oh. Yeah. What do you, what's your problem? What a sensitive audience tonight. <laughs> and it's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Jamie, yeah. What's, what are your thoughts on the view? <laughs> I, I want to know too, Jamie. <laughs> what are you? Why thoughts? are you being so quiet about yeah, this? Get, get, get it out, young man. <laughs> honestly, when he said, "Is it bad for women?" I honestly, 
like think like just my opinion on it um obviously a lot of women watch i mean it's it's all women on the show um it is pretty bad and just like you said it's, it's bad for a lot you know they i feel like like i said at the beginning of this video i feel like they go on there just to talk go in there just talk really not even talking about nothing you know every time i will react to anything that the view has look at any videos anything like that i just see just I don't know like a lot of the stuff that they say it just doesn't make sense to me it doesn't make sense and i feel like it's more so of i don't know because i, I seen a clip i seen a clip of joy uh bayar i don't i don't even know if it would it, 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 yeah she was uh it was the view um and trump was on there um and you know i react to it a few days ago um possibly probably a week ago and do so many videos but um, we've seen that, you know, Trump was on there and Joy Behar, obviously, you know, at one point in time, and I th still think she does, you know, love Trump and, you know, was talking to saying that he was a great guy and this and that, you know, but my thing is, is what changed, you know, is it just the, is it just something that they have to, you know, something they said, I, I don't know what changed. I don't, well, I ain't gonna say that. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Joy Behar because I feel like, Honestly, something something isn't right with that with that whole show to me. Something isn't right because it's no way that a lot of these things that happen, the topics that we've covered, that they're in denial and delusion about the stuff that they say. I don't know. I'm glad you guys asked. I hate that show so much. And Kat is so right. Like, what are the what is the show prep? They just go go. <laughs> <laughs> is that the pre-show? Like, what was that? I didn't realize until Kat started talking that that all happened on the air. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was just like a behind the scenes disaster. A blooper. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. And we can disagree, Greg. You say cicada, I say cicada. We can disagree. But I, I feel like if the world ends, first of all, I'll have, I'll have saved the exact correct amount of money. <laughs> um, with all due respect, I hate the solar eclipse. I went from New York City to Rochester, New York this weekend to do a gig. Mm -hmm. My flight got canceled. I forgot about the eclipse. And I looked it up. There's no other flights. Yeah. The train is sold out for people going to see this eclipse. And I, people want to see the eclipse so bad. All the flights to Buffalo were sold out. Flights to Syracuse. Were, that's how bad people want to see the eclipse. They went to Syracuse. Yeah. <laughs> that's how bad it was. And I, I was so annoyed by the whole thing in the world. I was surprised people came to Indianapolis. Nobody really comes to Indianapolis. We live in Indianapolis. And a lot of people, like, we sat here. And it was, it, don't, don't get me wrong, it was something, you know, nice to see. Um, it definitely was something nice to see. I had woke up because um, I was really trying to sleep through it. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I don't like stuff like that. But um, I had woke up and my family was outside and it was bright outside. And then out of nowhere, it was like crazy dark. I was like, dang, this is tight. And then it lasted like, what, three or four minutes. But it was it's nice. not ending and it's not even that big a deal. And like I was in the green room, I was on the show last week. And I was talking to Tyrus backstage, and he like stood up in front of this lamp, and I was like, "That's kind of it." We <laughs> <laughs> you know Cleveland finally had a good view of something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? What about poor Buffalo? Like people in Buffalo, where it's like it was a cloudy day. Yeah. Buff Buffalo's like slogan should be "So close." <laughs> <laughs> Why? What's the chart? Have you ever been on the View? I have many. Uh, I think when. Uh, was was uh, Barbara uh, Walters? Was she still on it back then? Yeah, she, uh, she was on it even after she died. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I remember I, I I was I remember I was on the view and I just I was I don't know what <laughs> whore man whore I was playing at the time in a movie <laughs> was promoting and I remember I took off her shoe just as a, as a joke you know to kind of do something and I just and her foot I just like ooh that was a mistake. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Hey, it was kind of every toe had its own, you know. Anyway, God rest oh. your soul. I, yes. Wow. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know who's dumber, to be yeah, honest. Yeah. With you. I don't yeah. know. It's a tough I mean, question. It, it's a close. It's. I, you know what? I'm gonna. Whoopi. You know, she thought like uh, either either the Nazis thought the Jews were a race or were in a race. I'm not sure what she thought. And I thought, you know, um, this, this new one was Sunny, pretty dumb. And then uh, Joey Behar in her own echo chamber. I'm gonna say the dumbest people who still watch the show. Yes. <laughs> the whole audience mm. clapped. By Hey, that, that, I thought he was about to say one of them. That makes sense. Hands, yeah. mm -hmm. Whoopi, though. Oh, we're wrong. She's funny, right? No. Oh, okay. 
I was trying to find some kind of redeeming thing to say about the view. You could see right through me. Well, at least uh, Joy and Whoopi were fact checking this time yes. around. That was surprising, a pleasant one. Yeah, it was. We won't be seeing that again. <laughs> All right. Up next. If Make sure y'all hit the like button, that subscribe. But definitely, uh, there was there was a good video. Um, I I, I literally uh, like I said, it's been a minute since reacting to Gutfield. Um, but great video. Um, I want to know y'all thoughts. I want to know y'all thoughts on the view. Um, obviously, know some of y'all thoughts, but um, definitely, that's that's just what I said. So if y'all skip through the video, um, shame on you because. I did, you know, get my input on the whole show um, of the View um, because they really, they don't, they don't, they don't really, they 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 don't really make sense with the stuff that they do, you know, um, and it's it's been like that since covering the View, um, and I, I remember it was my first time. Um, I want to say, I want to say I've been reacting to the View for 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 a few months now, and it was you know off and on something like that, but. Not a big fan. Not a big fan at all. And like Rob said, people who watch the view. Not even not even the hosts. It's people that watch it. Make sure you have the like button, the subscribe button. Definitely appreciate y'all. Much love to everybody. Catch y'all on the next one.